Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Uh, it's Justin, we're back at the movies. This time we're going back to 1992. We are going to be reviewing the comedy Death Becomes Her, starring Meryl Streep, Bruce Willis, and Goldie Hawn. Uh, this movie is always enjoyable to watch. It's so funny. Um, you know, you have such a fantastic cast. Uh, Bruce Willis, who... You know, throughout his career up until 92 and even well after, you know, jumps in and out of genres, action, comedy. You know, I don't, th I don't think his comedy work gets as appreciated, but I'm a fan of movies like Hudson Hawk. Uh, I know critically they're not well liked, but I still find it funny. And obviously he's one of the most iconic action stars of all time. Um... Meryl Streep, you know, one of the greatest actresses ever. But this was a big, big step for her. You know, Death Becomes Her is really her first foray into comedy. Uh, I mean, she's been in iconic movies like The Deer Hunter, Silkwood, Kramer vs. Kramer. You know, she's an amazing actress. But acting in a comedy is can be difficult, especially coming from a background where your roles have pretty much been all dramatic. And to be acting with the likes of Bruce Willis, who did have a comedy background, and Goldie Hawn, who similarly had a, a comedic background, it can be tough. You know, Goldie Hawn had some hilarious movies, Private Benjamin, Wildcats, which I've mentioned before in a previous... Uh, review um, overboard you know she's got a comedic timing to her that works it's she's hilarious uh, so it's it can be tough but Meryl Streep really holds her own but it shouldn't come as a surprise but it's still not easy uh, you know pretty simple straightforward plot you got two two women who are getting older and they you happen to stumble upon a cure for aging, but they're both envious of one another because Bruce Willis's character loved Goldie Hawn, loved Meryl Streep in different uh, time periods, so they have to one up each other, and you know they 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 do some pretty crazy stuff to each other, um, as you can see. Kind of spoiler alert in the cover. Uh, Goldie gets shot in the stomach, and um, Meryl Streep, uh, her head's facing in the wrong direction. But it's so funny how they how they do it. You know, these are two women that clearly don't know what they're doing, but just happen to come a, like figure out what to do, and you know, obviously they they can't die. Because they've taken this cure, this miracle cure that ate, that de-ages you, makes you beautiful for long periods of time. But it, you know, there are repercussions with with that cure, um, and it's just it's just a fun comedy. You know, all three characters work well together. Bruce Willis has moments where he's so over the top, but that's that's what makes him funny. And to me is, you know, even in his action movies, you know, he's got he's got those, that comedic timing that makes his movies enjoyable to watch. And, you know, that's why Death Becomes Her works. I, you know, 1992, I was seven years old and I do remember seeing it uh, maybe on VHS. Um Renting it from my local movie theater, a movie uh, video store, uh, and you know, since then I don't watch it very often, but because it's not on TV, it's one of those movies that you know each one of those actors and actresses, I feel has certain movies that are constantly on TV. For Bruce Willis, it's Die Hard. For Goldie Hawn, it's Overboard, and it's a number of movies for Meryl Streep. But Death Becomes Her, you don't see it very often on TV, if at all. 
So once in a while, I'll, I like to, you know, throw it on the, the Blu-ray and give it a watch because it's been a while. And I still laugh every time at Bruce Willis's over-the-top persona and uh, two, two women who are doing anything they can to stay beautiful and to get revenge on the other person. Um, solid comedy, like I said. You know, is it a great movie? No, but it's one of those movies that I appreciate where you can watch again and again and still find it entertaining. And for that, it's going into the sevens. Uh, as I've said before, a, a great movie, the greatest movies of all time are going to be probably somewhere between nine and nine and a half. I don't think you'll ever see a ten, um, you know, because not every movie is perfect. You know, it can come damn near close, but not perfect. Uh, great movies are in the eights, and then movies that are really good and, you know, can go back and watch them again and still find them entertaining, those are going to be in the sevens. Um, so Death Becomes Her, I'm going to say, is a seven... Either seven three or seven four. I'm gonna go seven three. Uh, it's just an it's just a pleasing comedy, um, and it's it's fun to watch. So there you go. 1992's Death Becomes Her, seven point three. That's my rating. Uh, this is Justin saying I'll see you again at the movies. Take care.